Hello guys. This is Jyoti Prakash, a PhD student at Inter University Center for Astronomy and Astrophysics, Pune. I would like to share my HRI Harishchandra Research Institute, Allahabad, PhD program interview experience with you, which might be helpful for other students who are planning to join the HRI PhD program. I was interviewed for the HRI PhD program through UGC JRF on August 12, 2020. My objective was to join Observational Astronomy and Astrophysics group at HRI if they offers such research. My interview was on Zoom meeting on 12 August 2020. In the interview panel there were two male and one lady professor. The following instruction were given to me during the interview. The interview was fully written, means you need to solve the problems on paper exactly. The interview will last for 45 minutes. During this time you will be asked three questions. The questions will be asked in sequence, and if you cannot solve it in the first attempt, you can tell the committee how you might approach the problem. At any time during the interview you can ask the committee for the next question, and you can always go back to the earlier questions if you want. The main point you should remember is that you have total of 45 minutes to give your answers, and that after the first question, the subsequent questions will be given to you either when you ask for them or when you have solved the problem given to you. Now come to the question part. The question were showing on slides during Zoom meeting. Basically they asked question from fundamental physics like classical, quantum, statistical mechanics, mathematical physics and electrodynamics. Question 1. It was from statistical mechanics. Derive partition function of 3n-dimensional quantum harmonic oscillator. Also calculate some parameters like specific heat and entropy. Question 2. It was from classical mechanics. Show that the transformation Q is equal to ln 1 slash Q sin P and P is equal to Q cot P is canonical. Also obtain the generating function for the transformation. Question 3. This time question was from quantum mechanics. I don't remember the question correctly. But it was like that. A quantum particle is in superposition of two states. One is equal to alpha, sine, omega t, plus beta, cos, omega t. And two, is equal to alpha, sin, omega t, beta, cos, omega t. What is probability of particle to be found in state beta, at any time t? This was the end of my interview. In conclusion, the interview was a very pleasant experience for me too. And they are quite happy with my style to tackle questions. I was expecting to get selected because I answered all questions but when result came out, I was not selected. So if you don't get selected in any interview, please, don't be sad, and, keep Carl Sagan. Quote, Somewhere, something incredible is waiting for you. Some other better institute will be waiting for you. And later got an offer to join PhD at Inter University Center for Astronomy and Astrophysics Pune. 
which was the happy moment for me. I hope it has helped you to gain some insight into the question asked in PhD interviews and how to prepare for that. Good luck, if you are planning for any such interview. Some of the things you can keep in mind while giving interviews are First Don't give bluff answers to any questions. Second If you don't know the answer to any question just say Sir I don't know. You may ask the next question. Thanks and good luck for your future endeavor. And don't forget to subscribe my YouTube channel Desi Astro, which also teaches you basic of Python programming. And stay tuned for more interview experiences from my friend also. Thank you again.